Hey coders, it's Chris here. I hope you guys are having a great day. And today I'm here to talk to you about Locksmith. It's a library which we can use to work with Keychain in Swift. So if you've ever had the need to store data across sessions in your app, you've probably used or heard of or read about something called NS user defaults, which is great for storing stuff like high scores or user preferences, things like that, which are not sensitive. There are ways to peek into what is stored in the user defaults. Um, so you wouldn't want to store any sensitive information in there. If you need to store passwords, usernames, and sensitive data, you would want to store them in Keychain. So this library called Locksmith provides a very easy way to store some data into the Keychain and to retrieve it. We're going to be using CocoaPods to install it, as we'll see in a quick second. And I just wanted to show you very quickly how easy it is to do so. So in order to save data, we use the class method save data and you can see here that we can provide a key value pair. And then also you can specify a user account. When you load the data, you're going to be loading all of the key value pairs from the specified user account into a dictionary and then you can go access the data from there. Okay, so let's get started and install Locksmith as a CocoaPod. Now, if you don't know what CocoaPods is, just check out the video in the upper right, click it, it open up a new window for you. Uh, that's where we're gonna walk through how to set up and install CocoaPods. It's really quick and simple and you only have to do it once. Let's start by creating our Xcode project. I'm gonna create a brand new Xcode project as a single view application. Let me just readjust this window. Single view application, I'm gonna call this the locksmith demo. Make sure that the language is Swift and device uh, iPhone is fine and you can just ignore the options underneath and I'm gonna save it on the desktop. Now we're gonna go ahead and close the project because we're going to create the pod file. I'm gonna press command spacebar and type in terminal to open up the terminal and we're going to browse to the desktop where I saved the project. I'm going to type pwd to see where I am uh, and ls to list the directory contents and cd the folder name desktop to go into that folder. ls to list it again and I'm going to type cd lock and then I'm going to press tab to autocomplete that folder name. So here I'm in my project folder. I'm going to write pod space in it and that's going to create a pod file in my project folder here. I'm going to right click that and open it up in my text editor sublime text and then here we're going to uncomment the platform line and we're going to get rid of the hash symbol in front of use frameworks as well uh, because this is Swift project that we're working with and we're going to just copy this line under CocoaPods and we're going to paste it in between the target and the end tags. Let's save the file. We can close this file now and go back to terminal and then we can type in pod space install. And that's going to read the pod file and install the locksmith pod. All right, so there we go. And we can open up the project folder again. And now we have a couple more files. We're going to be opening up the XC workspace file from now on. So let me readjust that again. I'm gonna press Command B just to build the project. Make sure everything's fine and build successfully. I'm going to go into the view controller and here we're going to import locksmith. And then in the view did load, I'm just gonna show you a quick demo of saving some data. So we type in locksmith dot save data and we're going to use this method here where we pass in a key value pair and for some account and notice this keyword throws okay so if it can't save this data it's going to throw an error we're going to need to use some error handling in order to catch that error if it can't save the data so let's specify the parameters first so here let's say that i have a key value pair of let's say it's a password the password would be, you know, something like that or something more secure than that, hopefully. And for the account, and maybe this would be my app name. Okay, so now if it can't save this key value pair, it's going to throw an error. And in order to catch it, what we do is we wrap it in a do catch block like that. And we also have to put the keyword try in front of it. 
So just like that, it's going to try to execute this method and save the password, the key value pair rather, and if it can't, it's going to come into here. Could not save the data into Keychain. And then you're going to have to probably display a message to the user or maybe try it again or something like that, you know, handle the error somehow. And then in terms of retrieving the data, let's just retrieve it right after. So we say let dictionary equals locksmith dot load data for a user account and the user account we're looking for is that. So what I'm going to do is just hit a breakpoint right there and set a breakpoint right there and let's run the project. So Xcode is just warning us that we've never used this constant that we declared, but that's okay. Okay, so it's loading. Okay, it's hit this line of code here uh, where it's gonna try and save that password. So I'm going to just step over this breakpoint, step over it. So it didn't come into catch, so that means it should have successfully saved. And now it's stopped at this line where it's going to load that data back up into this dictionary constant. I'm gonna press step over to execute this line. Okay, now we're gonna use the console down here. We're gonna check out what's inside dictionary. So PO dictionary, it's gonna print the object. And you can see that it does have one element inside. Uh, it's got a key value pair, you know, key is password, and the value is the actual password. So it successfully loaded the data. And really that's how simple it is to securely store some data for your app. So the next time you need to store something sensitive between app sessions, um, consider using Locksmith. Now I've actually only touched upon the surface of it. Um, that was the quick start with save data, load data, and then there's also update and delete. So you can try those out for yourself. And there's also more that you can do with it that I won't get into. It's something for you to read if you're interested. Now tomorrow is New Year's Day, so I won't be publishing a video. But I hope you guys have a happy new year, and I'll see you guys in 2016. Now I hope you guys continue to watch my videos and support the channel in 2016. I know I've hit kind of a good stride in producing these videos every weekday, and I hope you guys are enjoying them. So thank you again for watching, and please share the video, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed it and want more. And I'll see you guys on Monday, 2016. All right, have a happy new year, and talk to you guys later. Bye.